thank you for the opportunity uh, to present important information about uh, how to maintain uh, honest involvement. But before I continue, I would like you to look at the picture and tell me what do you see? When I started doing my research and study about uh, audience involvement, I found this picture. And I thought that described in, in very well what a presentation should be. To capture the audience this way. So presentation, public presentation is like music. Uh, deliver your best music possible. My name is Rodrigo Gonzalez. I'm an entrepreneur in the material handling industrial battery. Uh, part of my job is to uh, present and uh, do tr sales training uh, to all the Latin American dealers and, 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 and all the South American dealers in Latin America. Uh, and the way to do presentation depends on the person and the person, the personality. There are people that are very active, very also well, very passive. A person that's very active might jump, might scream might throw things to the audience, and some passive ones that might have the same success as the active ones. So let me show you a quick video. I have a question for you guys. At first, I would like you to close your eyes, please close your eyes, and imagine that you are back in this room in five years from now. How do you see the economy of the United States at that time? Open your eyes and tell me in one word, only one word, what do you see in sure. that picture? Good. How about you? That's very positive. Improved. Recovery. Fixed. Excellent. How about you? So we all think that things are going to go where? Up. So show me with your thumb. So the economy is going to be in five years from now. Excellent, guys. Thank you. So, okay, the agenda today, <laughs> and we'll, we're going to go over three successful ways to encourage audience involvement. Relevancy, finding activity, and commonality and emotion. Then we're gonna see some tips and strategies and we're gonna have a final closing statement. The first way to encourage audience involvement is relevancy. <laughs> it's when you organize the topic based on your audience concern and preferences. Then the topic must satisfy their need. In my case, when I go to do presentation in Latin America, uh, I encounter some of the companies that are environmental, uh, con have environmental concern. So one of my products is an electric forklift. So I compare an electric forklift versus an IC truck, the internal combustion. Of course, electric forklift is a lot more environmental friendly than an IC truck because it's clean, it doesn't pollute. The second uh, way to encourage audience involvement is finding activities. Uh, since most, mo mo most of the presentation are considered by the audience to be boring, it's good to have fun. It's good to have create activities that encourage people involvement. Um, I remember several years ago, uh, I participated in a presentation as an audience, and I was very impressed with a speaker that has an amazing capacity to uh, identify the level of energy of your audience. So every time he sees that the level starts to decrease, he starts doing magic. Just magic. And that was extremely successful, especially that was a very, very boring topic. <laughs> uh, the last uh, way to encourage uh, audience involvement is 
commonality and emotion. Sharing emotion, common experience with the audience will ensure development and deeper involvement. Um, since, again, I, I, since I traveled to Latin America, I always try to find a common uh, emotional experience or emotion uh, with, the, with my people there. What I do is that I present myself like I'm very proud to be Latin. Huh? I told them that I share their culture, their tradition, that I like big families, that I enjoy their food. <laughs> so tips and strategies, learn about the audience, interview people prior to the presentation, study organization and profile, uh, and the people profile, and by study organization, you can look at the, the uh, financial statement of the company, and look at people, today you have social media, you can go to uh, Facebook, whatever, and, and look up there uh, what their interests are, who the people that hang, hang out with. And uh, the last one is very important, is a week or so before your speech, solicit opinions about your topic. So that way you can modify or adjust to your topic according to the audience and preference. And my closing statement, keeping the audience constantly involved by discussing three things. A relevant topic, of doing three things. Uh, discussing a relevant topic for the audience, implementing fun activities, and finding common experience. And my call for action will be inform yourself about the audience prior to any presentation. Learn your audience, analyze their need, identify the concern, and deliver a fun presentation. Thank you. So you talked about using a fun activity or something in the middle of the presentation to bring audience attention back. Yes. Do you have any advice about, say, icebreakers at the front of a presentation? At the beginning? Yes. Or during the presentation? At, at the beginning. Uh, some examples or some... Well, I, I didn't know if the book touched on anything about using that as a strategy to grab your audience at the front. I used to have a client that did it all the time, and I'm just curious how effective that was. Well, yes, um, it's very important to, cut, to, to, to get the attention at, at, as soon as the presentation starts. Uh, so that it creates a tone how the, the presentation is going to follow. And some of the tips, again, it's like, uh, I don't know, they just come up with some, you can use funny, fun, fun, uh, Ideas and uh, uh, it, and, and I, in the book I read that it's not a good idea to start uh, the uh, presentation by qu making questions to the audience. That might be very uncomfortable actually for the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to warm up the audience and then to start throwing some, some questions and, and make them participate. Okay, thank you. Yes, Jeff? Real quick, uh, I've said a lot of different demonstrations in your, did, did the author talk about using demonstrations in the presentation? Yes, it's, it's not only demonstration, uh, it's, 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 but demonstrate and, and share common uh, emotions with the audience. Huh? Yeah. How, do you, how do you determine who your audience is? You know, without that primary component of knowing what your audience needs from you, well, it could be disastrous, right? To try and involve people in something that they're just not interested in, right? Well, what do you do? before any prior presentation, it's always uh, get acquainted with the company, the group of people that are gonna be there, and the way to do so is by having interviews before, or finding the key people that can actually can um, um, Explain you and give you more information about the, the, the what the group concerns and interests are. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's ver that's very actually quite important. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions?
questions for everybody. All right, thank you very much.